Hey, what's up? This is Frank, Frank's Friendly Cars, and uh, hey, today I'm going to talk about uh, what I call the mystery of the 2G RFE ECU connector, okay? So, uh, the 2G RFE ECUs come in different versions. Some are 5 connector and some are 2 connector, and this is the large connector from a two connector ECU. I think it came out of a Camry, like a 2007 Camry. In addition to this connector, the harness would also have a second connector similar to this one, but with fewer pins or smaller. Kind of similar dimension, form factor, but uh, fewer pins, shorter. Okay, I don't have that one. It's been cut from this harness. This is a used harness. It's kind of a junk harness that's been damaged that I'm just using to demonstrate to you how to pin or depin the uh, wires. Okay, how to depin the wires out of the connector. Okay, which is not that hard. It's a little bit intimidating because these uh, connectors are so dense and they have so many pins and the pin openings look so small and you start to think like, man, there's no way I could ever deal with this. But in reality, it's not as bad as it looks, okay? So, uh, what I want to do is just remove one of the pins out of this uh, connector, just as an example for how you would do it, okay? And uh, I'm going to do this green pin that just happens to be the pin that's up in the corner, upper right-hand corner of this connector. And uh, there's nothing special about this one. Okay, um, so I'm just uh, doing it because it's going to be easier to show it here on this little video that, I've sh that I'm shooting on my phone. Okay, so let's start by looking at the features of this connector. Um, normally, this connector would have a lock lever. It's been broken off, so this one does not have it. Okay, as I said, this is a junk harness that is really not usable. It's been damaged in other parts, but this connector right here, minus its lever, its lock lever, is still good, okay? And uh, you'll notice these little white tabs, two tabs on one side, single tab on the other side, okay? These tabs are the pin lock tab, right? So the first thing that we want to do, if we're going to work on this... Uh, connector is we want to disengage the pin lock tab and the way that we do that is by pulling this uh, large section of the tab out but actually it's easier to just push it in from the other side okay so I'm gonna use my little screwdriver this is actually right here is my favorite tool out of my entire toolbox and you should see how I go crazy when this little screwdriver is misplaced. I've had this little screwdriver for years and years and years. And I probably care about it more than I care about anything or anybody on this earth. Alright? And uh, anyway, I'm going to use this little screwdriver to push in these tabs. You see, they're pretty easy to push in not much resistance and once they go in you hear a little bit click when you get the disengage all right now we look back at the other side this white tab has moved out a little bit it hasn't moved all the way and it doesn't have to all right the next thing we need to do if we want to make progress is there's this face or cover and we need to pry this loose and again this little screwdriver is going to come in very handy. I'm just going to pry from underneath. I'm going to insert it under the face. I'm going to push up. All right, so now I got one side loose. One side is loose, and I just need to loosen the other side. And once I do this, this will really kind of give us the keys to the kingdom. All right, it's like it's like stealing first base okay now it's gonna give me trouble ah, there huh? old-fashioned way right you just like yank it off 
Now, as I was saying, now we have the keys of the kingdom because we are looking at all of the pins, okay, in their locations. Oh, look, this one is kind of pushed out a little bit. How did it end up that way? Weird. I want to point out a little feature here. And for this, I'm going to use this tiny little screwdriver and I hope you can see all this if you look at each of these pins see that in the bottom of it there's a tab and this tab can be moved okay and this is actually the tab that engages with the terminal that's up above it and locks it in place right so in order to remove this pin this pin on the green wire that we talked about, that I talked about earlier, the one that I want to remove, this green one that's up here in the upper corner. I have to engage this little plastic tab with my little baby screwdriver. This little baby screwdriver comes in those little baby screwdriver sets that you can buy anywhere at the hardware store. Okay, another very useful tool, and it also can double as an electrical probe, <laughs> right, with some alligator clips. But anyway, that's another story. So, we're going to show how to disengage this, right? So I'm going to just carefully insert this so I can grab the tab. Okay, I think I've got the tab now. So I keep it in place, and I should be able to just pull the wire. There it is. All right, I just pulled that wire. Once I disengaged that tab, I was able to pull the wire. And there's nothing to it. There's nothing else to it. So if you ever need to replace one of these because it's been damaged for whatever reason uh, I don't know why you would want to remove them oh yeah maybe you're switching something to something else like maybe you have a harness from a RAV4 and your ECU is from a Camry and you need to switch the location of the VVTi pins because they don't go to the same locations even though it's the same kind of the same ECU right whatever thank you mother Toyota mother Toyota Teresa right for making it confusing and confused for everybody you can be counted on to do that and uh, that's it you know there's nothing else to it we've just demonstrated how to to depin it now if you wanna repin it keep in mind this is important that there's an upside and a downside to every one of these pins okay and the the downside has this little indent in it that engages with the plastic tab the lock tab so if you want to replace this we will put it back in the hole facing the right way meaning that the tab is downward we push it all the way in all the way in right and then when we give it a little tug back it locks and at this point we can relock the big lock tab which is right here by pushing it back in and uh, it's going to push back in and click in place okay maybe I'll better use my other screwdriver for this there we go pushed back in place everything is locked and it's ready to go back on the ECU um, now another thing about these little pins I'm gonna give you the part number and I'll add that as a note to this video so you can order them if you need them and uh, anything any other questions you might have just put them in the comments to this video thanks for watching and happy motoring.